Now, here comes Louisville, and they were pretty much of a mess about four weeks ago. They had lost to Boston College. Malik Cunningham missed some time. They look like that they were probably done for the season. What do they have to play for? Coaches on the hot seat. Who knows where they're headed? And they've suddenly pulled it together and playing with some pride. They destroyed Wake Forest. They got a lot of help, but they still destroyed them. Uh, so even without the turnovers that uh, Sam Hartman and the Wake Forest offense gave them, they ran the ball down their throats. They played really well. Uh, they got an earlier season win against UCF, who's turned out to be a really good team. And they won again uh, last weekend. So they're 6-3, and three, and they're playing some pretty good ball. And Malik Cunningham obviously presents some challenges for this offense, similar to what they saw against Jordan Travis and a few other guys. I, I, if Clemson doesn't get some of their problems on defense short up, this is a team that will beat them. Um, Louisville's won four in a row, five of six, and, and they play a very aggressive style of defense. Um, I think they lead the nation in sacks. Um, I think they're one of the top teams in the country when it comes to, you know, getting turnovers or forcing turnovers. So, I mean, if Clemson doesn't get back to protecting the football and get some of those issues on the defensive side of the ball shored up, it, you know, Clemson has not lost at home since 2016. And I think this is a weekend they are in real danger of seeing that street in because um, not only of the defensive issues, but like I said, it's, it, the way this team responds is to that loss. The other, it's not the loss, it's the way they lost. And sometimes when you lose that way, a loss that like that can get you beat twice. So, I mean, it, th this is a huge ball game for Clemson and against a Louisville team that is playing very well at the moment. And uh, on the injury front, no Bo Collins this week, as you let me know before we started to record, and Xavier Thomas out for the season. Yeah, XT re-injured that foot last week in practice ahead of the Notre Dame game. Um, they're going to go ahead. They're choosing to go ahead. He's got to have another procedure done on it, so they're choosing to go ahead and do it now so he can be ready for the combine if, in fact, he decides to go pro. He does have a – a red shirt season left he can take that he can use this year if he decides to go that route. Um, he's not played in four games this year, but Dabo Sweeney said this morning he would absolutely welcome him back if he decided to come back. But I imagine that's a decision that's still a little ways off. And, yeah, Bo Collins hurt late in that Notre Dame game, separated shoulder. He's definitely out this week. Um, we'll see if they can get him back from Miami, but – that's probably going to be pushing it. Dabo said today he was going to be week to week, but with a separated shoulder, it'd be if you're back in two weeks, that's getting back pretty quick. All right. Good stuff. Well, anything else we're missing from this one? I think it's going to be a pretty decent ball game. The odds makers say Clemson's a seven point favorite at home and the over under is 51 and a half. Uh, the biggest thing for me, Clemson's just – they've got to get by to protect them the football. They had six turnovers in the first seven games, um, six turnovers in the last two games combined. You know, it, that's just not the recipe for success. Start, it, it starts with that, protecting the football, and, and maybe forcing some too. You know, Clemson didn't force any in the Notre Dame game, I don't think, and they only forced the one against Syracuse, which was on their last offensive play. So, you know – Got to get back to protecting the football, not turning it over and creating some turnovers. Folks, please like the video, share these videos out on social media, and subscribe right here at the Voice of College Football. Check out Jason's work, allclemson.com on SI. Jason, always appreciate the time. Yeah, I appreciate you having me on, Mark. Thanks.